Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and this is another uh, series of that you know, Octane's uh, framework actually which is an open source and cross-platform CMS and application framework for building modern digital experience. Okay, so let's get started for demo first. So run this application. Okay, don't worry about that. How I can set up and how we can start that Octane framework with Blazor that I will do in this session and later on we'll do everything one by one okay so see once I run the this uh, framework on this code so I will see this you know this setup first okay so it is allow me to you know set up that data configuration database configuration you know which type of database you want like MySQL PostgreSQL so whatever you want you can just choose this over here and also just database name whatever you want so we can set it over here also you can set your authentication mechanisms let your application administrator account okay so let me give it first name like uh, kkp password is kkp123 kp123 this is just for the demonstration purpose okay let me install okay it is asking me ensure that password and email does not provide as well okay it's required email so let me at the rate gmail.com let me okay password also need to record something like you know a strong password so let me change it to this okay install Okay, it is asking also six characters. So here is a three. So let me add like one, two, three. Okay, yeah. Now it's uh, meet all the all the validations. Okay. Now it's starting to you know set up to our DB as well as our you know. Uh... Okay. So now see. Now it's started and also we see if you see that here is a, a home home tab and also is a my page my page also here is a login button okay so home page nothing just giving us the some uh, contain about that you know the octens octane actually what is the octane okay don't worry about that I'll explain and also just a my page okay and there is a login screen so let me add that username what was the username it was the kkp and password was thus at the rate kkp123 and just trying to show login okay now it's login see there's also private page once you log in so you able to see the private screen a private page okay others two is a public so everybody can use but once you log in then you are able to see this pages okay and here's the very great flexibility actually give us to see over here let me zoom it there is a icons or there is a some edit functionality also there's a layout and also which user is login so automatically build up your application okay let me click for setting so once you click the settings you see there's a many many things actually which is they provide us like you want to add a new page you want to add a new module you want to add a new you know, application so everything they provide so it is a very nice framework actually octans so we will do everything you know one by one step by step so don't worry about that okay also see if I go to admin dashboard so there is a dashboard as well where actually you can maintain everything like you want to maintain your site you want to maintain your page you want to maintain your user management you want to maintain your uh, you your profile management role file management you know, many many things actually provide okay also SQL management system info system update everything okay so let me click only a one first okay like for example page management so see there is as of now there we have such kind of page as of now okay also you can just if you are admin so you can just edit edit delete and you know, browse everything you can do so for example this page name is home so you want to edit something in the home page so see there's a home page and there's a permission as well like what is the permission in this page what is the module in this page in this page actually these are three modules also what is the theme so inside of there so everything is now provide 
as a as a template okay so we can easy maintain we can easy you know manage okay and uh, just if you go to edit one so when you see see this click on edit so also you can just edit the style you know that uh, template anything's like you know see many many actually flexibility give us okay so let's get started what is that okay so first we have to understand actually uh, what is uh, octans okay so octans is an uh, open source and cross platform cms and application framework for building modern digital experience on dotnet octans app are composed of reusable web ui component implement using c sharp html and c css both are both the client and server code is written in c sharp provided a, a consistent and efficient development experience okay and uh, how we can set up this one okay so let's get started to how we can set up is okay so first what need to do uh, you you have to you know go to that github octane 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 dot framework okay so this is a github link of octane framework we have to download or we have to clone this repository okay so let me zoom in and show in the where is you can get i'll sh um, shown this is a you know description in my channel so don't worry about that so okay what need to do just clone this guy okay open github github bash okay so that you have to install in your machine so that you can clone or you can just directly install as well so let me find here git bash okay so this is a git bash just open okay and here you can just clone it okay so before that what you can do just you can create a one folder so directly dr uh, like for example or or just git clone git clone and then paste it okay whatever your uh, whatever your repository path okay so this is your repository path so here you can just clone copy okay and go to your git bash git clone okay let me hit enter okay so it will clone in your system okay once you clone uh, go to your directory okay and simply you have to open your uh, your application in visual studio okay and also one thing actually uh, important uh, for this application for this co co octans actually required Visual Studio 2022 with the latest edition, you know, version 70 or higher, okay, which is your record. And also, this need to enable that ASP.NET you know, web application workload to enable to run this application, okay. So, how we can do that? So, let me open, go to tools and features, okay, so that you can make sure this is a prerequisition already is there, like see once you see it is a 7.8 but yeah 7.7 .7 is required so let me zoom in so first is required like 2022 any additions not a uh, that that is not a big deal but yeah required 17.7 .7 version okay so i have 70.8 but yeah also one more thing this uh, workload is required so this workload is important so you have to enable this one okay so this is a prerequisition okay let me stop this and open your application okay so once you open your application okay we are actually just you just download okay so it is download and then you just open your application definitely you will get this like that like here should be three project okay one is shared library don't worry about that i will explain uh, everything 
in a upcoming session but here this is a just for the demonstration prospects perspective like how we can set up how we can run and what is that you know overview of that stance okay so this is a shared library okay and also there is another is a uh, you know is a it is a application of that you know blazor web application server side okay this is a server side and this is a client side okay so there is a three project okay and what need to do what need to see in here actually if you go definitely you will see that you will go to the you know, server application server side application you will see this is a default connection is empty okay so that's it once it is empty thing you have to do just you select to you know uh, octane dot server okay so just select this you know this project only okay or, or you can just right click and set as the startup project of the octane dot server okay and then what you need to do just run this application okay see now it's you know, running up or uh, is listening of this port okay and this is version of 4.0.3 this is a octane, octane version okay and it is along with dotnet 7 and now also again as a database database configuration thing stuff so you can choose whatever database you want to hear like sqlite local db or stuff okay also you can just change your name whatever name you want okay and now you can just create your uh, you know administrator account like for example uh, kkp and then kkp one two three kkp one two three and then for example it's a just a fake email okay and just install once you click install so it will actually take few seconds for the install database and account and then it will launch our application okay now see our application is launched okay with this public pages okay there's an authentication and once you just click the login you can just log in page appearing and you can just log in your application with that credential which we have created so now you will see the private screen also now you will see that all the dashboard okay and admin dashboard also you can just manage site you can manage you know delete site save site whatever you want you can do over here so don't worry about that everything i will explain how we can create a site how we can create a page how we can create a you know other stuff so we'll do everything okay so let me create as a for the sample uh, sample demonstration i will create you know one page okay so let me add a page so see this is a page let me name is the test this is inside the home okay inside the home i will add that this page and inside the also it's just insert before and beginning where you want okay so i just end to end okay it is s yes just give it to default one okay uh, remember that this is a test page so let me save it okay inside this home i just add the test so see this is a test page i have nothing i have to add so that's why it's nothing over here so let me add it okay you will see that style default style over here okay so leave it that part okay so like that okay actually you can create do everything okay so it is very simple and also you can just delete that page as well so go to there or not go to there go to admin dashboard or page management you will see that test page so yes this is a test page inside the home you can just delete as well so just delete now go back to home see that is there okay so like that actually you can just create you know many many things so I will not you know increase this video session but yeah definitely uh, every section will cover you know one by one an upcoming section okay upcoming session 
so till now thank you very much have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe